Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here with .NET Nuke Corporation. In this video, we're going to talk to you about the search engine sitemap within .NET Nuke and what that's going to provide you. So it's very common nowadays for search engines to request that you have a sitemap for your website. Basically provides a very easy uh, approach for the search engines to find all of the links to the various pages on your site. .NET Nuke has some functionality built in for that that we're going to take a look at. And we're going to take a look at the default sitemap, what it provides, and then how we can go through and we can customize that sitemap. We can make adjustments at the page level. There's also a search engine sitemap page under the admin menu. So if we switch over here to a .NET Nuke website, this is a, a DNN website running version 5.6.2. And it's pretty basic. There's an articles page and a razor page that we've used in previous videos. But you can see there's not a whole lot of content to the site right now. Now a sitemap is going to be found by going to the URL of your website and then adding sitemap.aspx onto the end. That'll pull up that XML based sitemap that .NET Nuke generates. So what we can see here is it provides a list of all of the pages on the site. Now I currently have two different language packs installed on this portal, so it's showing me both the English and the Hebrew URL for these pages. And what we see here is just a listing of the pages. There's the home page, the articles page, the search results and user profile pages. Now it's not showing the razor page and it's not showing any of the pages underneath the admin or host menu because those are not publicly accessible pages. They're not pages that a search engine is going to be able to access. So they don't show up in that sitemap. So all .NET and Nuke websites are going to have a sitemap. And you can manage that by editing the pages themselves. Now, when you create a sitemap or create an entry in a sitemap, you can control some priority to those pages. So I'm going to go to the articles page here. What I can do within the articles page is if I go to the page settings for the articles page, I'm going to be able to adjust the page priority. So in the control panel, I'm going to click on edit to get to the current page settings. And then from the page settings, we're going to go ahead and scroll down towards the advanced settings section. And down towards the bottom, we have a sitemap priority. Now, there's a default priority that's assigned to all pages in .NET Nuke when you first create them. And that value is 0.5. Now, sitemaps can be anywhere from 0 to 1 from a priority perspective. The higher, the higher the priority. So if we want to make the articles page a higher priority, I can change that. In this case, we'll make it 0.9. And then I'll go ahead and click on Update. So that's going to update the priority for that page in the sitemap. Now if we were to navigate back to the sitemap, we'll just type in sitemap.aspx again on the end of the URL. We're going to see in the sitemap we still have our home page. We still have our articles page. Now the page priority on the articles page hasn't been updated yet. And that's because the sitemap is actually cached. So what we need to do is we need to clear that cache for the sitemap. So what we can do is if we navigate back to the articles page, the sitemap is located or the management of the sitemap is located under the admin menu. And there's a search engine sitemap option. If we go ahead and navigate to that page, what we're going to find here is we have a URL to that sitemap. So you can see it listed here. And then we have a, a sitemap provider. Now there's a core provider that comes with .NET Nuke. If we wanted to add additional providers for custom modules, we could add those in here as well. And then we can come in and choose to configure a couple of settings. So we can configure a page level based on priorities. So we can configure a setting here that will allow the page level to define the priority of your pages. We can also come in and define a minimum priority for pages. We can hide pages or choose to include hidden pages. After that, we have the ability to exclude URLs with a certain priority or lower. So if we want to make certain pages show up on the website but not visible to search engines, at least from a sitemap perspective, then we can change the priority on those pages. And typically what I would do is I would tell .NET Nuke to exclude pages that are lower than a priority of 0.2. And then on the pages that I want hidden, I set those at point one. That way they don't show up in that sitemap. Now there's a cache provider here as well, or caching for the sitemap. We can go ahead and choose how long the sitemap will be cached. Now on a, on a pretty small site, site that's not changing from a page perspective, you can cache that sitemap for a number of days. There's really no need to, to not cache it if you're not creating pages. Now in our case, what we want to do is go ahead and clear the cache because we updated the page settings. So I'm going to go ahead and clear the cache there. 
And I'm going to navigate to that sitemap. But this time, I'm going to pull the sitemap up in a different tab within the browser. And if we go ahead and navigate to the sitemap in that, in that new tab, you can see the articles page now has a higher priority. So within the sitemap configuration page, we can also submit our sitemap to the various search engines. Um, before I do that, though, I'll go ahead and click Save Sitemap Configuration to save our changes. Now, within the search engines, what you can do is you can choose to submit the URL to the search engines. We can choose from Google, Yahoo, or Bing, and click on Submit. Now, there's also some features that search engines provide, called mostly called Webmaster Tools. Now, in order to use Webmaster Tools, search engines need to verify that you're the owner of that particular website. And what they'll typically do is they'll provide you the name of a file that you need to create at the root of your website. They'll give you a string. You can type in the, the string or paste the string in here and then click on Create and .NET Nuke will create that file for you. That allows you to verify to the search engine that you have control of that particular website. That will then allow you into those various webmaster tools. So there's a, a pretty basic introduction into the .NET Nuke search engine sitemap. Again, you can find that underneath the admin menu. For more information about .NET Nuke training, please check out the resources tab on .NET Under there is a training page. There you'll find a variety of free videos as well as information about our instructor-led training and our custom on-site and online training offerings. Again, this is Chris Hammond with .NET Nuke Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.